In this podcast episode, Ben Shapiro discusses the operation carried out by the Israeli Defense Forces to rescue four Israeli hostages who had been held by Hamas for over 240 days. The hostages were being held in Gaza, a hotbed of Hamas activity, and the operation was successful in extracting them from two separate locations in the area. The operation was significant not only for its success, but also for the reactions it elicited from various parties. Shapiro highlights four key premises that were exploded by the operation, challenging common beliefs held by the left. These premises include the idea that Israeli military action cannot free hostages, the belief that Hamas is willing to make a deal to release hostages, the notion that the Palestinian civilian population is completely separate from the terrorist population, and the argument that Israeli military presence in Gaza must come to an end. Shapiro argues that these premises were false and that the operation exposed the moral equivalence fallacy often promoted by the international left. He emphasizes that Hamas is not the moral equivalent of Israel and that the Palestinian population is more radical than commonly believed. He also points out that Israel has used meticulous military force and has made efforts to avoid civilian casualties in its operations. The reaction to the operation from the media, particularly the New York Times, is criticized for its negative portrayal of Israel's actions. Headlines from the New York Times suggest that Israel's euphoria over the hostage rescue may be fleeting and that the operation resulted in a high death toll among Palestinians without resolving internal challenges facing the Israeli government. Shapiro points out the hypocrisy of those who sympathize with the kidnappers and criticize the rescue operation, highlighting the real victims as the hostages and the surrounding civilians who were aware of their captivity. He also criticizes the Washington Post for its biased coverage of the event, portraying the rescue operation as a deadly wall of fire rather than a heroic mission to save innocent lives. Shapiro also addresses the issue of moral equivalency in the Middle East conflict emphasizing that Israel has the right to defend itself and protect its citizens from terrorist threats. He highlights the need for clarity in distinguishing between terrorists and civilians in conflict zones, pointing out that Hamas often hides among civilian populations and uses them as shields. The discussion then shifts to the protests outside the White House, where demonstrators expressed solidarity with Hamas and displayed signs advocating violence against Israelis. Shapiro condemns the protesters for their support of terrorism and their disrespectful behavior towards law enforcement officers. He emphasizes the dangerous implications of aligning with terrorist groups like Hamas and the need for Western societies to reject such ideologies. Shapiro highlights the recent European Parliament elections, which saw a significant rise in support for far-right parties across the continent. He notes that these parties, often labeled as far-right by the media, actually hold pro-Israel views and are critical of the left's support for terrorist organizations. The shift towards right-wing politics in Europe is seen as a response to the growing influence of radical leftist ideologies and the desire to protect national interests and security. The podcast also addresses the corruption allegations surrounding President Joe Biden and his family members. Shapiro discusses reports from the Wall Street Journal and Politico detailing the involvement of Biden's close associates in questionable business dealings. He criticizes Biden for distancing himself from his family's activities while his inner circle was actively engaged in those dealings, suggesting a lack of transparency and accountability in the administration. Shapiro highlights a New York Times article that addresses Biden's tendency to exaggerate or fabricate details in his personal anecdotes. The article characterizes Biden's false claims as tall tales rather than outright lies, downplaying the significance of his misleading statements. Shapiro criticizes the media for not holding Biden accountable for his falsehoods and for attempting to portray them as harmless storytelling rather than deliberate deception. The podcast also touches on the role of racial politics in shaping public discourse, with Shapiro referencing commentators like Joy Reid and Jameel Hill who often inject race into their analyses. He criticizes the media for its biased coverage of political issues, particularly when it comes to race-related topics. 
He emphasizes the need for honest and objective reporting, free from ideological agendas and personal biases.